I'm looking at the commit history for an example project. And what I want to do on my local system is I want to revert my code base back to the state of the project at this initial commit, deleting all of the commits that happened after that. Now, I want to preface by saying that what I'm about to show is not considered to get best practices. You don't really want to rewrite history like this and delete commits, especially if you have collaborators on this project who might have pulled these commits and they're writing code based on those commits. If you start deleting those commits, you're going to run into some issues. So only use this with caution if you really understand what it's doing. And in those rare edge cases where this might be appropriate, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so let me switch over to my local system. I'm in command line in this project. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say git log with the flag one line. And this is going to show me my history of git commits in a very nice condensed fashion. And what I want to do is I want to get the hash of the commit I want to roll my uh, system back to. So in this case, I'm just going back to the initial commit. So this is the hash for that. Um, it doesn't have to be the first commit. I could roll back to this point, whatever point you want. Just choose that commit and copy that hash. And then we're gonna say git reset with the hard flag and paste in that hash. You can see my code base is now at that initial commit. And to persist this to GitHub, I'm gonna say git push, and I'm gonna include the dash F or force flag uh, to force this commit to push. This is basically gonna bypass checks that are in place preventing me from doing what I'm doing, which is deleting commits. But we know this is what we wanna do in this case, so I am gonna use the force flag here. With that done, let's go back to GitHub. All right, and there you go. I refresh the page and you can see history has been rewritten. Those commits are deleted and I am reverted back to this initial state. For more details on this process or perhaps to bookmark it for a future reference, check out the notes I have that accompany this video. There's a summary of the commands that we ran as well as a breakdown of what each command is doing, what the flags are doing, just more details on the process.